See, when they got off the boat, they didn't recognize us. They said, who are you? And we said, we're the people, we're the human beings. And they said, oh, Indians, because they didn't recognize what it meant to be a human being. I'm a human being. This is the name of my tribe. This is the name of my people. But I'm a human being. But then the predatory mentality shows up and starts calling us Indians and committing genocide against us as, an, as, as, a, as, a, as a vehicle of erasing the memory of being a human being. So they used war textbooks, history books, and when film came along, they used film. You go in our own communities, how many of us are fighting to protect our identity of being an Indian? And, and 600 years ago, that word Indian, that sound was never made. <laughs> on this hemisphere, that sound, that noise was never, ever made, ever. <laughs> We're trying to protect that as an identity, see? So it affects all of us. It's reached the point, evolutionarily speaking, we're starting to not recognize ourselves as human beings. We're too busy trying to protect the idea of a Native American or an Indian. But we're not Indians and we're not Native Americans. We're older than both concepts. We're the people, we're the human beings. property of emotions, pleasure, and pain with other animals. Psychological this that is the makes basic. up uh, that spectrum of experience yeah. that we call sentience. Sentience means the capacity to feel. Uh, it really refers to a whole spectrum of feelings, from the agony of the worst sorts of pain to the ecstasy of the best sorts of pleasure. The, the, being right. being well, the science is there, and it is growing by the minute. And we are deliberately ignoring it because it is inconvenient to recognize it. Sentience is a concept of emotional researchers. Now, animals definitely have emotions, but that doesn't mean that they're people. There's one big thing in the brain that separates people from animals, the size of cortex. We've got raw computer power that animals don't have. Animals are not going to fly to the moon. Intellect is what separates size. Someone once said that animals are another nation. Uh, they're not aliens, they're not property, uh, they're not dangers, but rather they're other beings with whom we share life, who have as vested an interest in their own lives as we do. All we need to do is make certain that we don't become the plague, the vermin that takes it all over, but rather make sure that there's always room for them. Because without them, we'd be one hell of a lonely place. 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 